address counter column address counter so that it will automatically increment into the increment it will send the new column address to this so this column decoder will select a new column and the data in that column is sent to an output data so so here we can see that the very next byte comes out of the memory at the same time once again column counter will increment the column and it is applied to the column decoder and it will send that address and again it will get new new byte so that here four successive bytes are sent from a memory one after another the, this is a burst operation of different length can be specified here he has specified only four bytes you can specify different bytes based on the availability row address is latched under the control of row address selection signal as i said here so row address row ad it is sending the row address and it is latched under this signal this row address selection signal is becoming zero the memory takes two or three clock cycles to activate the selected row so as i said there is a time gap of three clock cycles it is used to activate the row then column address is latched under the control of cas signal so cas bar signal it is so cas bar signal then after a delay of one clock cycle so there is a delay of one clock cycles so here this after a delay of one clock cycle so the first data comes the first data comes placed on the data lines the sdm automatically increment the column address to access the next three sets of bits as i said here so the column address uh, will automatically increment this is called as column address counter okay it is used to increment the column address and sdram have built in refresh circuitry so it will refresh circuitry is there it is this refresh counter is a part of refresh circuitry why because we should maintain the data in this memory continuously for that we should refresh refreshing in the sense reading those datas and checking whether it is 1 or 0 if it is 1 once again that high voltage will be stored once again if it is a 0 that uh, a memory element voltage will be reduced to 0 once again so that pure 0 or pure 1 is once again and again stored that circuit is called as a refresh circuitry for that usually it happens uh, at a one row they will refresh at a time okay each row must be refreshed at least 64 millisecond means for each 64 millisecond at least once each row should be refreshed sd rams can be used with the clock cycles of 100 megahertz memory latency is a use to refer the amount of time it takes to transfer the data word to memory means how much time uh, memory will take to transfer the data that is defined by memory latency in a burst operation time needed to complete the operation depends also on rate at which successive words can be transferred okay means so here you can see that after sending the column address when your first zero address was sent so this much amount of time is required to send a first byte and on an average finally within this time within this time how much so five bytes will be uh, sent sent okay so both will uh, effect on the latency so in a block transfer latency refers to time it takes to transfer the first word of data this is a first word of data this is a longer than it takes uh, this is longer than the time it takes to transfer each subsequent here after uh, after sending the first word the next word comes very soon very soon memory bandwidth is performance measure in terms of the number of bits or bytes that can be transferred per second so if i say memory bandwidth so what i can say that home total number of uh, uh, bits it sends per second per second means if this much time gap is taken to send these many bits if you divide by this time gap this time gap so we can calculate how many bits it is sent per seconds the memory bandwidth also depends on transfer capability of links so memory is connected to processor through using wires that links capacity to transfer the data it also depends on the memory bandwidth thank you